Cheese. Well, there and welcome to BNA News. Hey there, I'm coming to you live from BNA News. I am Jimmy and this is my partner Bruce. Today we are doing a special on top 10 tips when an earthquake occurs. Hope you enjoy. Number one. If an earthquake occurs and you are inside, make sure that you crouch under a table. Drop, cover, and hold. Be turtle safe. Ah! Earthquake! I dropped and covered, but what was the third thing? Oh yeah, it was hold. Crash back. Number two. If you're outside during an earthquake, don't go under a tree or building. I'll go under this tree for safety. I'm safe now. Ah, oh, help me! And especially don't be in a tree. Ah, earthquake! Help! <laughs> Number three! Also, if you're outside, stay away from cracks in the ground. Whoa, earthquake! Big crack. Cracks can appear during earthquakes. Ooh, a crack. I'm going to investigate. Cool. Whoa! Whoa! Help! Help! Oh no! Mm -hmm. Number four. In an earthquake, the first initial jolt is called a P wave or primary wave. The second is called the S wave or secondary wave. The strongest and biggest jolt and the last one is called the surface wave. It does the most damage. These are the aftershocks. Aftershocks can come up to hours, days, or even months later. Oh, my staff broke. Watch out for aftershocks. At least the earthquake's over. Earthquake! Number five. When you are inside and there is no table available, stay against an inside wall. If, if you stay in an outside wall, this will happen. Another earthquake! I'll just stand against an outside wall. This glass should protect me. I'll just sit here and wait it out. Oh no, the glass shattered all over me. We'll be right back after this short break. Hmm. Fifteen minutes could save you fifteen percent or more on car insurance. Everybody knows that. Well, did you know that cows moo in different accents depending on where they live? Moo. Moo. Moo Or on the other way around the world. Moo. Moo. Geico. Fifteen minutes could save you, well, you know. Number six. If an earthquake occurs in the ocean and you live on the coast, you should be prepared for a tsunami. A tsunami is where there's an earthquake in the water and it causes a huge wave. Number seven. If you live in a house built on sand, make sure it is anchored to solid rock below ground. And you should do this so that liquefaction doesn't cause it to sink. This is an example of liquefaction. If you live in an earthquake prone city, make sure that your house is base isolated. This means that it is separated from the ground by a series of pads and metal plates so it doesn't fall over. Not base isolated building. This is a base isolated building. Number nine. Today I'm going to talk to you about flexible and non-flexible pipes. This is a non-flexible pipe. It will break or burst during an earthquake. This is a flexible pipe. It will not break or burst during an earthquake because when the ground shakes, the tube will move with it. Non-flexible pipe. If a non-flexible pipe is broken and water will start to go onto the street. 
quack, quack, flexible pipe. The water is not gone onto the street because the flexible pipe has moved with the, earth, the ground in the earthquake. Quack, quack, no water, quack. Number 10. A house on solid rock is safer than a house on sandy soil. Also, ha houses on sandy soil will take more, so plan where you live wisely. House on sandy soil. House on solid soil. All good. I hope you liked it. We'll see you next time on... BNA News! Bye. Hello, thanks for watching. Hope you like our project. If you want to watch it again, search on YouTube, Lego Earthquake Safety Tips. Bye! Cheese.